So now we are uh, in the tunnel passing from the upper floor to lower parts and in this tunnel on our left we're going to see on our right we're going to see the rolling stone. It's made of a solid rock here like basalt I think and it's this much thick. They just push the rock. It's round shape when you push it it just rolls and closes the tunnel. Once it's closed there is no chance for enemies to roll it back because they don't have enough room for it. They have to break the rock with their spears to pass the other side. But as it's thick and solid rock, it's not very easy to break it in a short time. It took a lot of time to break it and this gave enough time for these people to, to escape using the emergency exit tunnels. There is a hole in the center of the rock which was used to observe, observe them, to stab them through with their spears Last to roll the rock back. They put a thick wood through the hole. Somebody from one side of the rock, the other person from the other side, just pushed the wood together and they just they said how they roll it back. They didn't lift it, they just roll it. That's why it wasn't that difficult. Uh, plus, the low tunnels exist here too. If you make the tunnels as high and wide like this, invaders will get down very easily in a short time. But once you have them low and narrow, imagine thousand invaders come in, they would have to pass through one by one. Maybe they would step on each other because they were in a panic too. And they would be quite slow and in this time again they would escape. Uh, that's one of the emergency exit tunnels, but it's dead end. It doesn't go anywhere anymore. It's dark as well. When you make your right, it just finishes. So now we'll pass through this tunnel. Okay. Thank you, Ron. I'm going to do you want to do it. I'm Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, it's thin. <laughs> it's thin. This is not for fat people. You're not going to make it. Hey. <laughs> You're making it. You must be thin. <laughs> How does that work out? Pretty smooth, huh? Pretty smooth. Get that good save there, honey. It's all about the girth. <laughs> <coughs> from the top, this is the mid part of it, as there is an opening, the air can move inside, that is how we can breathe, and because each room has a hole, the air will move through the holes and each room uh, will have enough oxygen for people to breathe, and uh, they also used it as a cistern, because the top of the ventilation shaft is open, when it rains or snows, they could collect water at the bottom, they could see daylight because of that. And also, these dirt, when they dug this out, had to be carried out. So imagine yourself with the pottery in your hand, climbing up and down, how many times? It's so difficult. So again, probably, somebody from the top pulled the dirt up and just scattered it around. We can see it closer now. How deep it is. If you stand yeah, here, you can see it much better. And they have tunnels like this here, which is narrow, and it makes an echo. When you shout, the somebody from the other side could respond back to them. So in this way, they could, they could communicate. Yeah, that's ventilation shaft. The communication tunnel is this one here. Like the mobile phone of its time. Mobile phone of its time. Okay. So this tunnel is two-way, uh, if you want to...